What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. My name is Andrew Noble and you are watching Hot Wheels Dad. <laughs> I thought it might be a good idea to start this video actually at the gas station. I'm here at 76 station waiting to fill up. There's actually only two pumps that include E85, so that means I'm waiting over here for a little bit, but I wanted to start here real quick and kind of give you guys a little update. If you guys have been a follower of my channel for a while, you know that I own an F-150, and about six months ago, I did a real world test comparing E85 to regular gasoline. So if this is the first time clicking on any one of my videos, go check that video out first because I really went more in depth in regards to E85 on that video. In that other video, I also talked about multiple things like performance, effects on the environment, engine longevity. So I, I went a little bit more in depth in that video. However, since I've been running E85 for a full six months now, I can give you guys a real number as to how it has affected the pocketbook. I think that's most people's concern when it comes to running E85 compared to gasoline is am I really seeing a cost savings in the bank compared to running regular fuel? After six months, I haven't done any of the calculations yet I've basically filled up in my truck once a week which means that I do kind of basic driving everybody whether or not they run E85 or they run gasoline usually fills up about once a week the good thing about me having a YouTube channel that's based around automotive I actually save my receipts because it's a write-off for me so I have all of my receipts for my gas station trips over the last six months so as you can see here I have my receipts for my Ford F-150 and my Audi R8 basically if you look at all these receipts these the receipts for the last six months starting in January. I think I filled up uh, in the Audi R8 January 9th and my first fill up in the F-150 was January 15th. So I was actually already two weeks into January when after filling up my F-150. But I have 25 gas receipts here which there's 26 weeks in six months so it's about averaging one fill up per week and then here in my r8 i have 13 receipts which i'm basically half that i'm filling up once every two weeks in my audi r8 so what i can do is i'm going to go ahead and do a calculation based off of how much i've spent on e85 and how much i would have spent on regular gasoline if i would have been running gasoline in my car now you guys are going to be saying well how do you know what the price of gasoline was at the time of fill up. Now the good news is because I have the Audi R8 receipts here I can go back and kind of gauge an idea of how much regular fuel was during that time frame because I filled up with 91 in my Audi R8 and basically what I can do is just take 20 cents off of 91 during that time frame and that's going to be what the price of 87 which is what I would be running in my F-150. It's been a whole six months since I've actually ran E85 in this truck and I have not gone back to regular fuel since just because I really feel like the E85 was a much better value cost savings and performance in my F-150. So it looks like that pump is open right there. So we're gonna go ahead, oh, just kidding. Big old Silverado decided to go in. He's probably getting E85 too, so we'll stick around here for a little bit longer until he is done filling up there. I basically was doing a little calculation based off of what a projection would be of cost savings on what my driving habits were. I think I drove about 400 miles, but since then, I have put 2,800 miles on there, and as you can see, I'm getting a average of 12.2 miles per gallon. Now, in that video, I was doing about 11 miles per gallon, so over the course of six months or so, I actually have improved gas mileage. It went up a little bit more than one whole mile per gallon more, so overall, I think I'm doing pretty good just because with regular gasoline, I was right around like the 12 miles, I believe. I have to go back and watch that video just to double check and see, but I think I'm averaging just about the same amount of MPGs as I was on regular gasoline with E85. Looks like that pump is now open, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up there and start filling up with E85 gas. So during the original video when I did the E85, E85 was around $399, and from what I remember, actually 87 I think was in the four and a half range, four dollars and like 59 cents. I'll have to go back to the other video and check it out, but right now it's six dollars and 19 cents, and then 6.59. So when I fill up the Audi R8, I pay six dollars and 59 cents. However, with the truck, I do put 87 in there, so I pay six dollars and 19 cents. But the cost of E85 over the last six months actually has not changed. We're here about. $86 and it's still going. Where do we think it's gonna stop? Take a guess down in the comments where it's gonna stop at here. I'm gonna guess 100 bucks because I think that's where it automatically stops. Ooh, we went past the 100 mark, let's go. And 
and 102.13 is what it costs to fill up my F-150 with the 85 gas. So let's check and see after fill up. As you can see from the last video, that mileage went down about 100 miles. But I think I do know the answer as to why that is because it's... I get on it all the time and feel that power of the E85. Ooh, buddy. Oh, red light, red light, red light. Ooh, water jug fell. Let's see the Corsa again. <laughs> and now I know why I only get 289 miles per every pillow. Three hours later. Now that that workout is over, it's time to get you guys what you came for. Time to crunch those numbers. Also, can we acknowledge how good those light bars look? Woo wee! We got the flush mount light bars from Rough Country up here in the grill and then the DV8 20 inch light bar down here. I do have an F-150 playlist for any of you guys who are here for the first time. Go ahead and check it out if you guys have an F-150. I did a lot of videos on that. What I did as far as mods goes, I did the E85 video. I talk about ownership and all that. So go ahead and go over and check that out if you guys get a chance. Also, I do some off-roading the F-150, which is pretty cool. Let's look and see how dirty she is. We had her off-roading last weekend, actually, if you take a look. We had her off-roading up here in these hills right here. The cool thing about living where I live, we have off-roading right here, and then we have the gym. I can go to the gym, I can go off-roading, same day if I want to, so it's always a good time living where I live. It's also very hot where I live, especially coming out of the gym. It is spicy out here, you guys, super hot. 93 degrees today, super hot, pretty muggy, but let's go ahead and crank up that air conditioning and crunch those numbers. All right, so I have here the F-150, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add up all these receipts here and get you guys a grand total. Instead of me just flipping through and showing you the whole thing, I'm gonna go ahead and do the addition and write it down right here what the total amount spent on E85 for the year 2022 is. All right, so I did a grand total here. Cost of fuel, January to June on E85, $2,247.94. So it cost me 2,200 to fill up my truck on E85 for the first half of 2022. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is take the R8 receipts and go through and see as far as the dates goes, like I have one here for January 9th. Cost of gas at that time was $4.99. Uh, that was for premium, as you guys can see, and typically regular is about 20 cents cheaper. So I'll find a receipt on my F-150 here, close. I know I would said uh, the 15th was the first time actually filled up, so I can go pretty close to that. Sometimes they actually do fill up on the same day, the R8 and the F-150, so that's pretty good. Here is a for instance right here on 4-9-2022, I filled up the F-150. And also on 4-9-2022, I fill up the Audi R8 Premium. I'm taking what I got, 18 gallons and 18.157 gallons and multiplying it by, uh, I'm taking 20 cents off of here, so 619. I'm tallying those totals here. I'm getting all the totals here on the gasoline, as you guys can see here. And once I finish that, I'll go ahead and get a grand total for you. All right, so I've done all the addition. I'm just gonna hit the plus button here. I, I haven't looked to see what the cost is of fuel, but let's hit this plus button. Woo-wee, $3,542.99 compared to $2,247.94. That's like $1,300 in cost savings running E85 in the F-150. 35, 42.99. All right, let's get the exact amount cost difference here. 35, 42.99 minus 22, 47.94 equals $1,295.05 in cost savings running E85 in the F-150. Now that is a true, real world comparison. When I did the last video, I was kind of speculating based off of what the MPG is and what the going forward price difference would be. And actually this is a whole lot more, $1,300 more and cost savings running E85. So if you guys don't run E85 in your truck, I would highly recommend switching over because it is a huge cost savings in six months, over a full year, especially where gas prices are going. That's what, $2,700, $2,800 in cost difference over the full year. You know, $2,500, $2,600 is a full month's work for some people. So huge cost savings switching over to E85. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Is this video gonna go ahead and make you do the switch? I've been getting a lot 
lot of traction on that other video, people searching E85 in their F-150, E85 versus gasoline. So after seeing this video, let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you're gonna go ahead and switch it to. Saving almost $3,000 a year, I, in my opinion, that is a no-brainer. Please give this video a thumbs up, and also I appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. Check out my playlist for the F-150. I got a ton of videos on my Ford F-150. A lot of you guys who come to my channel for the Ford F-150 don't really cross over and watch the Audi R8, but I do have an Audi R8 playlist as well. If you guys want to check that out, I would really appreciate it. My social pages are Hot Wheels Dad on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Always remember, you are the maker of your own story, so don't forget to make it legendary. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. So if you haven't already checked this video, if this is the first video you so if so if so if this is the first video you click so if this is the first video you clicked on as far in reg and I and I have not gone and and I have not gone back to regular fuel since.